it is insane that after more than 5 years of Borderlands 3 existence, people are still finding new things. So you must be wondering how did I do so much damage at the start? Well, it has to do with Kodo merging, a brand new discovery made by the community. Shout out to King Faticus, Icero, Neko HD, Reddit Tier 342, Buckets of Woes, Stoneswain, and me for helping in the research of this mechanics, especially King Faticus because he is the first person to brought this to light. In this video, I will show you how you can replicate what I did as well as explain the math and the mechanics behind it so you can implement this into your builds. Before the video starts though, this took me a long time and a lot of work. I would greatly appreciate it if you can leave a like share the video comment down below on what you think about the video sub to the channel if you haven't done that already join this discord server if you want to discuss with me about this and let's get in now in order to perform puddle merging you will need two parts the first part is the player spawn puddle denoting ps puddle these are puddles that are made by the player via gun or grenade some examples of this include the amber perch dark hinas miracle bombs dark army or any e-tech tdo guns when thrown quarter pooper 5000 and many more the second part is a non-player spawn puddle denote np puddle these are puddles that is made from literally anything that isn't the player which include fire and scorcher attacks wallet or grenade if the grenade can spawn a puddle by itself iron bear slamander with the molten raw augment then clone if either the grenade or the gun can spawn a puddle that is what we have discovered so far there might be more np puddle out there and i highly encourage you going out there and experiment with stuff and Please remember this the notion because I will use them throughout this video. Now with the two part, how do you perform puddle merging? So step by step, firstly get the NP puddle to appear first, then quickly apply the PS puddle and boom, big damage, very simple. Note that you will need to do it in this particular order, NP then PS. Otherwise it won't work. Make sure that when you are applying the PS puddle, the enemy is in the area where it would be affected by the NP puddle also. And both PS and NP puddle have to be of the same element, otherwise it won't work. And for whatever reason, both PS puddle and NP puddle cannot come from the same type of gear. So for example, when I'm using Zen clone, if I keep clone an Amber Perch as an MP puddle, then I'm use my Amber Perch as my PS pedal that wouldn't work for whatever reason I still don't know why this is happening so make sure that your NP pedal and PS pedal come from different gear so in this case instead of giving the clone the Ember Perch you could give it the Dog Hina Miracle Bomb for example and that would work perfectly fine also avoid any water area because pedal cannot spawn on water so try to lure enemy on land then you can perform pedal merging if you still don't understand what I'm saying Maybe this live footage might help you. As you can see here, I'm fighting the true hack of favor. The healthiest bot in the game, it has over 40 billion health. If I'm not mistaken, here, as I said before, lure the boss out of the water before the puddle can spawn on that. Once they are on land, get your NP puddle to proc. In this case, I have to wait for the spider and scorcher special attack where it spawns as puddle. The moment the scorcher puddle appears, quickly and I mean real quickly apply your PS puddle. In this case it is the Ember Perch. Most puddles only last for 3 seconds at most but you can extend this by keep applying a puddle which is why I'm constantly throwing the Dark Hina Miracle Bomb in this footage. As you can see this interaction is insanely broken. Throughout my testing I was able to get to 300 million damage per tick with barely any gears and skill point. The setup I'm showcasing is not even the highest DPS build. This is just the easiest setup to puddle merge. There is a stack boss setup made by King Faticus that can get the puddle to do 10 billion damage per tick, which is insane. But how? How or why is it happening? Where does the big damage chunk come from? Is it intended or is it just the game spaghetti code? Well, let's move on to the next part. The reason why we are getting so much damage out of this interaction is because we are double dipping mayhem scaling. Let me explain. 
the PS Pado Ultimatum 11 receives a 34 multiplier to its damage, and when you are performing Pado merging, depending on what the NP Pado damage sort are, you are basically giving the PS Pado a lot of extra bonuses. If your NP Pado came from an action skill like Zen Clone or Mouse Iron Bear, the PS Pado is getting a 31 Mayhem multiplier, and any action skill damage bonuses you have. If your NP Pado came from Flag Pet, it is actually getting 51 mayhem multipliers and any pet damage bonuses you have. Why this is not final? The damage formula should look somewhat like this. For flag pet puddle merging, uh, the formula is PS puddle damage times 51 times pet bonuses. For action skill puddle merging, it is PS puddle damage times 31 times action skill damage bonuses. A very interesting fact about this interaction is that. Once the puddle merge, it is no longer considered as your damage, but as the NP damage. So if you are using Zen clone for example, after puddle merging, the new puddle will be considered as Zen clone damage. What does this mean? This means that any annoyment, shield or skill that allows you to do bonus damage won't work with the merge puddle. Only stuff that specifically lets the NP to do bonus damage works like the terror attack command annoy for flag for example this also means that if you try to swap to guardian angel after merging it will give you the 500 percent v2 damage guardian angel only work when zen clones is holding it or when you hold it the moment you apply the ps puddle where then it would boost the ps puddle damage formulas the merge puddle can technically last forever if you keep apply a puddle so make sure that you have a way to consistently do that after merging why this interaction is undeniably strong and obviously very unbalanced, there's a big downside that kind of keeping puddle merging from being an actual build. If you are fighting a boss that moves around a lot, it might be difficult to pull it off. Bosses that fly is just straight up impossible to puddle merge since puddle can only be made on walkable route, so it only works for some enemies. But during my tier crap, I have tried to like negate this downside by using either freezing or taunting to restrict enemy movement. So that is it. After days of research and experiment, this is what we have got. Obviously, when something new is found, I will update you guys in the pinned comment. Crazy that for an old game such as BL3, new things are still getting discovered. But I hope after this video, you get a clear image of how this mechanic works and be able to implement it into your builds effectively. Again, big thank to King Faticus, Icero, Neko HD, Ready Tier 342, Bucket of Growth, Stone Square. This takes a lot of time, so a like and sub would help me a long way. Comment down below on what you think about the video. Join the Discord server and see you guys next time.